Today we're going to discuss medical law. As a patient, I have the right to. As a patient, I deserve. And as a patient, I should not have to. All of those phrases refer to things that are addressed with medical law. Why do you think medical law exists? What does medical law protect patients from? Medical law is the body of laws concerning the rights and responsibilities of medical professionals and their patients. First, we have invasion of privacy. That is intrusion on another person's life. Examples include not protecting a patient's modesty and viewing or sharing personal information. Next, we have confidentiality, privileged information. Data regarding a patient that is disclosed with specific employees. This information must stay within this group of people. Next, we have legal rights. An advanced directive is a legal document created by an individual that outlines their wishes regarding medical decisions in the event they become incapable of making such decisions. A do not resuscitate order or DNR is a legally binding document that states a patient's wishes not to be resuscitated in the event of cardiac arrest. Power of attorney is a legal document giving one person the power to act for another person should they be incapable of making medical decisions on their own. It can be a trusted family member, a friend, or an attorney. Some examples of acts committed against patients. Negligence doing something that a reasonable person would not have done or not doing something that a reasonable person would have done. Scope of practice, medical professionals are not legally allowed to perform tasks outside of their education and training. Tasks inside one's education and training are referred to as within the person's scope of practice. Medical malpractice is any misconduct or lack of skill that results in patient injury. Medical professionals are often required to obtain malpractice insurance. Informed consent. Patients must give consent and informed of the procedures and risks before healthcare intervention is performed. Should you witness abuse in any form on a child, disabled adult, or an elderly person suffering from dementia, you are required to report those actions to protect the individual since they are unable to protect themselves. The two types of law are civil law and criminal law. Civil law deals with disputes between individuals, organizations, or between the two in which compensation is awarded to the victim. Criminal law deals with crime and the legal punishment for criminal offenses. On the next few slides, we will read the scenarios and determine if it is describing criminal or civil law. First scenario, you are a nurse in LA and share private information about Kylie Jenner's latest pregnancy. Is this a civil or a criminal law? The answer is it's a HIPAA violation, which can result in civil penalties. Yes. Next scenario, not getting consent to do a physical examination. This can be both civil and criminal law. It's a civil law if the person is charged with malpractice. It's a criminal law if the person is charged with battery. Last scenario, leaving medical instrument, instruments inside a patient after surgery. That is a form of malpractice, which is a civil law. 